Hey guys, Friday workout coming at you. Um, this is a pretty serious workout. It's going to be a three round workout with five minutes of work and only one minute of rest. We want to make sure that one minute of rest really counts. Okay, really focus on bringing your heart right down, catching your breath, and getting ready for that next round. But the first thing we gotta start with is the one. We're gonna go three sets. We're gonna start with six alternating Spider-Mans. If you want, you can add that reach in there. You set the shoulders as well as the hips. Now, if you're feeling pretty good, you can speed these up. Once we're through our six, we're gonna go through six air squats, and then we'll go right into six jumping squats. Okay, nice, good squat. And then, we're gonna go down, loosen up a bit. We're gonna do three push-ups to downward dog. So really take some time down here, get a strong, solid push-up in, loosen up those shoulders. And we're gonna work through that three times. So what you should do is get progressively faster as you get through the three rounds. And then, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get you to do five reps of each movement we have in our workout, okay? So what our three round workout is gonna be is we're gonna do one minute of each station. The first movement, start things off nice and hot, we are going to go one minute of max goblet squat. So we're gonna have that dumbbell or that kettlebell up here in the front rack. Get as many reps as we can, keeping the weight in our heels, pushing those knees out, getting the hips back, chest nice and tall. Getting as many reps as you can in that one minute. Now, if your back tends to blow up whenever you do goblet squats and you feel that you're leaning forward a lot when you do them, what you can do is set your dumbbell sideways so you're actually in a front rack as if you had a barbell in your hands. This should allow you to stay up a little more, uh, a little more vertical in that squat. And then our second movement is going to be alternating dumbbell power things. So we're gonna go from the floor, we're gonna clean that weight right to the shoulder. Back down, you can switch hands on the floor, or you can switch hands in the air and make it a quicker transition. Big thing is that we're keeping our back nice and flat, and then we're getting both heads of the dumbbell to touch the floor on each rep. And if you find your weight is light, you don't even really have to power clean, you can do a bit of a muscle clean. You're gonna make sure that weight is sturdy on the ground. Our third movement is gonna be lateral dumbbell jump overs. So if you're not as coordinated, you can take a second, get a little jump side to side, use the arms. But if you're quicker on your feet, you can make it a nice little hop back and forth. Fourth movement, we're gonna clean that weight back up, bring it to the shoulder. Now from here, we're going to do dumbbell push press. So we're gonna drive with the legs, get that weight right overhead. So you should pick a number you're gonna get on the one side before you switch to your other arm. I don't recommend 30 seconds on one arm and 30 seconds on the other because one arm is going to be a lot more reps than the other. So maybe go five and five or 10 and 10, depending on how light that weight is for you. And then our fifth work, uh, movement is going to be the burpees. So we're just going right to the ground, right up, go overhead. So again, I'm getting that chest right to the floor, coming up, and I'm taking it all the way for a little jump. Again, I'm focusing on stacking my feet up, come back, feel a little wider, and I reach. Okay, again, you can step back into that. You can step back up. You can get a nice little worm motion going in there. Or if you're fairly strong with the burpee, you can just pop yourself back up. So again, it's gonna be three rounds. One minute of the goblet squat, one minute of the power cleans, one minute of the jump overs, one minute of push press, and then one minute of burpees, and then only a one minute of rest. So you need to make that rest count. 60 seconds is going to fly by. So if you Drop to the ground, make sure you back up before that 30 second mark so you can get ready for the next round. Best way to count your reps is to count all the way through. I'm super out of breath, I've only done a few reps of each, so you guys are gonna have a blast when we get through this. The last thing we have here on the list is going to be some core. So we're gonna do, we're gonna need a weight, whether it's a dumbbell, a kettlebell. We're gonna grab it from the sides, and we're gonna do three rounds, we're gonna do 20, Side bend. So with it in one hand, I'm just gonna bend down and come up. One, two, three, all the way to 20. Now notice how I'm not coming over as far as I can. You don't need to go that far. Yeah, as soon as you can feel any kind of stretch or discomfort, come right back up. So I'll do 20 on one side, and then I'll do 20 on my other side. And then following the 20 and 20, I'm gonna go down to the floor, and I'm going to do 15 V up. So with the V up, I'm laying straight out, 
and I'm going to snap up and touch my toes. It's gotta be quick. Okay, the easiest way to think about this is to do a sit up and then snap the feet up. So again, most of a sit up, snap the feet up, point the toes. The faster you make that, the nicer it's going to be, okay? Alternative, keep the toes up there and just reach for those guys. I don't want to say that's the easy way out, but that is definitely the easy way out. Another thing anybody can do if they want to spice it up is grab your weight, have it up there, go down, and reach. Okay, one more quick note I want to make. If anybody's doing this and they only have a kettlebell at home, the goblet squats, the lateral jumps, the push press, and the burpee can all stay the same, but what we can do is take that dumbbell power clean and we can just switch it to a kettlebell swing. Okay, that is an option. If you don't feel comfortable doing kettlebell power cleans, you're not alone on that one. They're pretty rough. So enjoy this workout. Remember, hit each round as hard as you can and enjoy that very short break we have.